Hey everyone, welcome back. This is another planting series and this is gonna just be putting them on this cute little plant stand and replanting them in these pots. So I got this plant stand from Big Lots and it's just the perfect little stand that I can put right here by my front door area. So I'm gonna fill that with my herbs and have them here on the porch so they're easy to get to. And I found this cute little thing that says, welcome to our farmhouse for like $4.99 also at Big Lots. And these pots are very nice because they have the drainage in the bottom already. Um, and these were only $2.99. So pretty, pretty cool. And I'll show you how it looks afterwards, of course. Okay, so I'm using this organic potting soil for my planters and this is a really good one because it's organic it's for indoor and outdoor containers and it has the earthworm castings in it earthworm castings is something you want to look for because it has live worms in there that will condition your soil so you need that in it and this is a really good brand so highly recommend so we're gonna fill our our pots with that I also have some organic plant food that I have here. It has all the things that your plants need to survive. So highly recommend this. Individual plants use one tablespoon for every square foot. So it says to rake into top of the soil. So I'm just gonna Add this to each portion, about one tablespoon, and then I'm going to just move this around like this, so we have that as something that can feed our plants and give it what it needs to flourish. This is cilantro, I have two of these. They're definitely lacking nutrients and very dry, I have not watered them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the same one. Since I have five and four potted herbs already, this will make five, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get those potted. We'll start with the cilantro. Still a little moist underneath, thank God, but it looks pretty, pretty uh, compromised at this point. So hopefully it can live and we can help it. So I'm just gonna take some of this and put it around this side of the plant. And then I'll do the same thing to this side. Don't be afraid to kind of break it apart a little bit, get your dirt all the way around your soil, um, and just press. We're gonna water these, and it's gonna help, you know, help that. But um, if you need a little bit more, grab a little bit more soil. But you don't want to overcrowd where the leaves are, but you do want to put enough soil around the base of your plant. So it doesn't fall over when you do water it. You want your, the base of your plant to be nice and sturdy. So make sure that there's enough dirt and soil that's in there so you can 
have your plant be surrounded by a good base that will hold it. And you just lift up the leaves. This is cilantro, so it's very leafy. I'm so glad I found cilantro. It's hard to find. All right. So that is that. I might even cut this because it's time to be cut. But now that it has the fertilizer in there and stuff like that, it'll be it'll be growing in no time. So that's that one. Let's move on. I love oregano. It's so nice to have. I wish I had an extra bucket to put some of this in. It'd be nice to show you a video of how they're doing once they've been planted and nourished for a while. Because that always happens to me. I buy stuff that I want to plant and then my life gets so hectic and so crazy that sometimes a whole month will pass by and I haven't even planted what I bought to plant. Sometimes even longer. So. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but if it does, leave, leave some comments down below <laughs> and tell me how that goes in your life, but that's something that happens to me. The good thing about plants is, especially herbs, if you cut it and it still has green stalks on it, it will grow back. So like if it's looking rough like this, I see some little sprouts that are coming on the bottom parts. You can just cut the tops off if they don't come back within the next couple days after planting them and um, leave the base there, the stems that have more sprouts coming out and you will see that your plant thrives after a while. This is off. We have a sprout coming out here that's um, budding. So these stalks are literally turning dry. So hopefully we can save this by cutting some down eventually. But I'm gonna plant it now and see if this springs back. Even if it does, I'm still gonna cut it and, um, and let it regrow. Is it still alive? It's pretty moist actually inside, but still. It needs some love. Right. Like so. And even break up the, the base of your of your plant that you're planting um, because it's just easier for your plant to spread out and grow. And it does smell good. I love mint. You can throw this in some water and make flavored water with cucumber and mint or even strawberry and mint and cucumber. Um, I just mint. It's really delicious. Lemon and mint. It's just really refreshing, really delicious for summertime. And use it to cook with too. Greek style food definitely calls for some mint every now and then. Have a little piece here. I'm going to stick it in my soil of that um, fertilizer, that plant food that we put in there. And that's it guys. We are done. I'm going to water these and put them on my plant stand and show you how it turned out. If you like videos like this and want to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.